First up, some big, some big news in science. When we think of ancient times, we all learned that there were set gender roles. Man hunt beast, women make baby. Well, guess what? USA Today reports that archeologists are making a big correction because they just found the 9,000 year old remains of a prehistoric woman buried with her big game hunting kit. That's right. Ancient women were hunters too. This makes me have to stand up. I can't even take it. They went back and they examined the remains of 27 other hunters and found that 11 of them were women, okay? Prehistoric men and women were less divided than we thought. And here's a look at her kit. This is so cool, because to you and me, it looks like a bunch of cool rocks. Oh, it might have already gone by. But to the ancient huntress, these tools can slay a mighty beast. Yeah. Makes me want to stand erect. It does. I'm so excited. I just think that's the coolest story. Women hunters. Just, yes. Anyway, next up, I guess I'm the only one. <laughs> Whatever. I think it's cool. <laughs> By the way, don't mess with those ladies, they'll. Next up, Refinery29 Britain has officially declared the granny underwear 2020 sexiest knicker. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited about this. You don't even know what good news it is to me because I don't like undies going up my bum. <laughs> Columnist Georgia Murray does a deep dive on full coverage undies and they're having a moment. Online shopping platforms have noticed a 59% increase in searches for this type of underwear in 2020. Let's face it, women just called it. They're like, screw it. Who can, you know who's gonna see my VPL? My three-year-old, I can live with that. And the new styles featured Comfort Coverage Plus, otherwise known as regular. And <laughs> they're amazing, okay? They do it all, though if ands or fully covered bot. Yeah, it's great news for me. I actually am concerned about VPL on this show. I take my job seriously. That was a big thing in the 70s and 80s for women. It was like scary. VPL was a thing. I am so excited about a woman who's gonna come on the show right now because I truly fell in love with her sometime around April and I started pitching her for the show. I always would say, do you think people will ever come on? I assume no one's coming here and I'm always asking very graciously and she's gonna honor us here today. She found an incredible way to bring both the indoors during 2020 and the outdoors together. She brings the art of crafty to a whole new level. These are, I, let's hear it from her. Erin Sullivan, I can't believe I'm meeting her. Hi, Drew. Erin Outdoors, I'm so excited. I'm fully fan. Oh my gosh, right I'm on. so excited to talk to you. Oh my gosh. I love, you, you really helped me during the quarantine. I marveled at your posts and the way oh, that you so made high. these incredible installations. How did you do it? Oh my gosh. Well, in at the end of March, as California was going into lockdown, and I, I was watching my work calendar evaporate. So I was thinking about ways that I could stay creative and stay connected to travel and the outdoors. And so I decided to try to create believable outdoor scenes using household items. Like that's parsley. This is a cookie. Yep. <laughs> and, you know, let's see what our next one is. Um, you make the, the, this one I loved, this is paper bags, right? Yep, so that's a paper bag canyon. So I was thinking about the canyons in the Southwest. Rosemary. Um, yep, rosemary. I mean, they're just so, uh, oh, this one is a classic, your pancake mountains. <laughs> I mean, yes. so you in your life, you are an outdoor photographer and I've done a deep dive through your Instagram and you look like you're living a dream life, but it was not exactly that at the beginning. 
Well, I loved photography from an early age, but I was so afraid to make it into a successful career. You know, you hear that art is really hard to make into a business. So I kind of ran from it and I pursued an adjacent career in outdoor education, which let me travel. But I kind of think when you avoid your passion and your purpose, it'll just come to bite you. And that's totally what happened to me. I got let go from my first and only office job and decided to pursue it from there. Well, what you are bringing to the world is just imaginative and beautiful. And I love that when you're so good at what you do out in the world that you can somehow bring it in and reimagine it with household materials. You really brought me through the quarantine. I can't wait to see more. I can't wait until you get outdoors again. But when I just look at you, I'm just like, you are living a dream and a truth. And it's nice to know that you had to be brave enough to find that because we all need to hear that. Thanks so much. Yeah, no, you're amazing. I can't believe I'm talking to you. I'm gonna freak out afterwards and I'd love to stay in touch. Thank you, Erin Outdoors is her Instagram account. You can find it on our website and I'm honored to meet you. Let it not be the last time, you're so cool.